Hey gang, it's a beautiful balmy day in November in Ontario, Canada. I'm on my way to do my video comparison of the DJI Mini versus the new DJI Mini 2 and whether it's um, worth the upgrade. Cheers! Well, I just arrived on location, just heading over to find a good spot to um, launch the drone. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm just always aware of all the Transport Canada rules, so I know there's a railroad track in the area, so I gotta make sure I stay away from that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, it's a conservation area, so it's um, far, far removed from buildings and people. Um, you may see the odd deer hopefully or some other interesting wildlife but yeah we'll um, give the DJI Mini a good um, run through and be able to give my report on whether one should stick with the original DJI Mini or move up to the DJI Mini 2. Cheers! Hey welcome back um, this is me and us showing the um, slideshow comparison of the Maverick Mini versus the Maverick Mini 2. Um, DJI hasn't sent me the latest uh, Maverick Mini 2 yet to do a full um, review and tutorial and so you'll get, see some slides and then after that I'll be showing um, how the Maverick 1 works um, now. Um, the two main benefits of the Maverick 2 is the you can film now in 4k instead of 2.7k and also they have you can take pictures in raw not just JPEG so those are the two main features I would say um, that gives it a little edge, but it'll be up to you after you see my video whether you'll stick with the Maverick uh, Mini or upgrade to the Maverick Mini 2. Cheers! As I shared in previous videos, I'm just walking out of the trees and looking at the branches and leaves, see if they're moving to help determine whether the um, Beaufort um, wind scale chart is accurate in terms of if I'm going to have any wind issues like I did the last time, hopefully not. And um, yeah, it's a gorgeous day in November, can't complain, out in the sun, flying my drone. So I found myself a nice spot to um, do my flying. Um, it's a bright sunny day, so pro, pro tip to flying your drones, always want to have the sun at your back so you can keep an eye on your drone, so I'm just going to move a little further ahead so that the sun's behind me and I can visually spot my drone. As you can see, it's a beautiful day, I'm just um, giving you a little um, sense of the area I'm working with. All right, let's get started. Okay, so um, quick tutorial. We've got our Maverick Mini with the cover on, protect the lens. I do have the Fly More combo, so I get the three batteries. Um, you just press the button on the side and it'll light, light up so you know that you're fully charged on all three batteries. And we got the controller, boom. Okay, so we're gonna do a distance test. We're just gonna fly it straight ahead. I'll give it some altitude a bit. Alright, let's do the return to home. It's been activated. It's turning around. Moving around a little bit, but it's still um, zeroing down thanks to GPS positioning of this drone. It's amazing. 
I'm actually going to interrupt the landing so I can basically catch the drone. So I'm going to bring it a little lower to the ground. I'm going to hit the um, landing button again. And as it descends, I'm going to reach down and grab it. And then the motors are going to shut off like that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of shots I took with the drone from a height of at least 150 feet for you can get a sense of the quality of the photos and what the uh, Maverick Mini can do. Well thanks again for um, checking out my channel and seeing the difference between the Maverick Mini and the Maverick Mini 2. Um, hopefully um, you liked it and feel free to uh, make a comment um, or subscribe. Until the next video, cheers!